Hello, I'm Alex from WhatCulture.com. Prison Break and Walking Dead star Sarah Wayne Calais stars in the new supernatural horror film, The Other Side of the Door, which is out in UK cinemas this week, March 4th. To celebrate the release, we sat down with her to talk about her new project, as well as leaving The Walking Dead, and about that rumoured Prison Break reboot. Take it away. Mr. Mommy. Uh, the same thing that dictates my process of choosing any project. I want to do something I haven't done before. Um, I never worked on something that uh, that centered around grief and madness. Um, and I think grief is one of the most interesting kind of capricious human emotions. It's it's not linear, right? So. I lost someone when I was quite young, and there are days, even now, well, I'll completely forget about it, and I'll pick up the phone to call her. And then you sort of hang up, and you're in floods. But for six months before that, you're fine with it. And so I've always been interested in exploring that, and I thought, I thought Johannes did it really well and really deftly in, his, in the script. Um, well, I've never seen a horror movie, really. I mean, I, I don't watch horror because it scares me. Um, don't watch Walking Dead, never did. So, uh, I, you know, I kind of approach this the way I'd approach a drama or anything else. So I'm not consciously calling on any tropes of horror movies because I don't know what they are, um, which might mean that I'm reinventing the wheel. There are probably great performances I could have learned a lot from. I just didn't have the guts to watch them. <laughs> I think, you know, there's an interesting kind of, I mean, obviously this isn't the reason Johannes wrote the film, but I think there's an interesting cautionary tale against cultural imperialism. Do you know the idea that, or spiritual imperialism, the idea that like, you can cherry pick the parts of someone else's religion that appeal to you in complete and utter ignorance of the rest. I think there's something interesting in that. Um, and I, you know, again, maybe like, a part of me being from Hawaii and growing up with Hawaiian mythology and those stories, and seeing tourists kind of come in and like pick a little god and run off with it, you sort of go, God, there's a context to this. Um, so maybe I was interested in that. That's the total subversive, not even intentional message, but I, it appealed to me. Incredibly moving. Um, you know, an actor without an audience is just rehearsing and you work as hard on failure as you do on a success. And certainly never, never the like, Ten of us who got together to do the first season, we never thought it was going to turn into anything like this. So, but it mattered to all of us. Um, we care about each other, still do. I mean, Andy Lincoln and John Bernthal and I just had dinner last night and we were all kind of together with our families and kids and just going, God, it's, you know, we built this family and it's still there, even though John and I are both on different shows in different parts of the world. Um, the fans are extraordinary. I mean, they just are. It was the same experience on Prison Break. Like, there are some fan bases that are so energized and so passionate that, you know, a couple seasons in, you start working for them. You start going, I want, I want to do good because you guys are pouring so much of your hearts into us. We're working on it. I mean, right now, because I am on Colony and we've been picked up for a second series, the two shows are working together to try and find a scheduling time. Um, and I think to make sure they're not on the air at the same time, too, you know. Um, so we're trying to make it work. It would be really cool if I could go back and do that. You know, I mean, India is, in, I don't know anything about India. Mumbai is mad. Um, and on a good day when you've got the energy and the pace to keep going with it, you just kind of jump into the flow and, and let it take you. And on days when you're not feeling well or you're exhausted or you've been working a lot and you resist it, Mumbai pushes right back and it gets you where it wants you. And I think that's really reflected in the film. And Indy is a character in this film. And I would say Indy is probably the lead character in this film. Um, and she brought so much beauty and so much grace and so much real darkness to it. It was, it was really cool. Thanks for watching. Have you seen The Other Side of the Door? What did you think? Let us know what you thought down in the comments and be sure to check out our other interview for the film with director Johannes Roberts. Bye.